this video, I will show you a test of four antennas that I have. These antennas are new, all of them. As you know, the central frequency that we operate our FPV systems is 5.8 GHz and the general range is around 5.6 GHz to 5.95 GHz. In this test, I will be using the middle frequency as close as possible to 5.8 and another frequency in the low end and another in the high end. In particular, I like to use the raised band and will be using R5 as the closest to 5.8, R1 in the lower end, and R8 in the higher end. The test is adding obstacles between the VTX antenna and the receiver antenna until the signal is lost. I hope none of these antenna reach the spot 4. All tests are done using 25 milliwatts. The receiver is in Chim Pro 58 and only using a mushroom antenna. No patch antenna as you see in the photo. The quadcopter is placed in the bathroom on the corner of the house. The antennas are the in the top left corner, the guard circular polarized mushroom antenna. And the top right corner, the Foxir Pagoda. In the lower left corner is the Lollipop. And in the lower right corner is the Speedix Pagoda. And here is the video. Let's see. <laughs> Well, taking a closer look now at the videos, in Spot 1 everybody performs excellent. Now here Lollipop and the Forksiers start having some trouble but still pretty good shape. In Spot 3 now the Forksier Pagoda and Spedix is out. Guard is uh, almost poor, very poor and Lollipop is poor but it's a little bit better. In Spot 4 Lollipop is the only one that joins something, the other ones are actually bad. In the race band one, which is a lower frequency band, again in spot one everybody's doing excellent. As we see, spot two, still everybody's doing perfectly. Lollipop, some checking, but it's doing good. In spot three, Spedix, a little bit out of the beginning, but at the end everybody's doing right here. Guard was the best one, but now here everybody's out. Speedix only showing some signals. Now in race band 8, 5.917, the upper side of the band, again spot 1 everybody's excellent. Spot number 2, Lollipop and Foxier Pagoda start checking a little bit but now here in spot 3, Foxier is out, Lollipop and the Pagoda. Then Speedix is doing better than Guard on spot 3 and spot 4 everybody's out so this way you, we can see that everything depends on the frequency in this case 
so not all the antennas perform the same way in different frequencies so if you are flying using some of the middle channels with close to 5.8 well from these four antennas the recommended is to use the lollipop if you will be flying in R8 or R1 probably your recommendation will be a different maybe Gart, maybe Spirix this explains why some people mention that they, some antenna is better than this other one and when you do similar tests you don't get the same result it's because the condition need to be exactly the same as the reviewer for you to obtain the same result so anyways one good recommendation is uh, if you try to use the same antenna in both receiver and transmitter and then you can do some small tests with the frequencies to see which one is the one that would best work for that one unless you have some kind of tool like SWR meter or something similar that can help you to identify what is the perfect band for that antenna you are using well I hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one thank you for watching thanks mm -hmm.